Hello, Phil and Meerkat here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. I'm just going to keep on exploring here until I've found everything that there is to find. Then, I guess, I'm going to uh, find the reactor, unless this is the reactor. In which case, I guess there are two entrances to it. I mean, I, I, look at this. This this looks really good. I know Cloud looks kind of, well, pretty unrealistic. But this this background, this, um... Uh, location looks great. Much better than any of the ones on Final Fantasy VIII. Yeah, I'm guessing there are two um, entrances. Now, I thought Barrett had a uh, fire, so I'm not sure why I didn't have that. I'll have to check in a minute. Well, I seem to have lost uh, fire for some reason, and um, ore for some reason. Could have sworn I bought both of those. Never mind, I guess. I guess I can always buy them again. Sure, there's anything I can do on here. I assumed this was the reactor. I was really hoping to change the sound levels so it's not as loud as this. This really looks like it's the way out. Grenade is going to be useful when we come up against another large group of enemies. I think, if I remember correctly, um, uh, a grenade can take out more than that one enemy at once. Well, assuming these are all built to the same pattern, this looks like what we had to do before to get to the reactor. So. Okay, interesting. Not really 
really sure where to go now. But there doesn't seem to be a timer here, so... We're going to spend ages wandering around with no idea where to go. Try the grenade. Okay, it can't attack all of them at once, but it can do a hefty amount of damage. That's good. Generally, I found, um, that just attacking any ones that you happen to get in a random encounter is, uh, is enough. I keep on pressing the wrong button here. Is enough, and you don't need to deliberately seek out enemies unless, uh, you're thinking that, uh, unless you're failing to catch up with how powerful the enemies are, I won't deliberately level grind, just don't run from fights either. You could have done this before, or at least told me no, this is the wrong way. Oh, sorry. done it on a count of three, or something like that, that would have made a lot of sense. Don't worry, the rest of the game isn't all going from one reactor to another.
I don't remember this being a particularly hard battle. That doesn't mean it's gonna be super easy, but if it always counterattacks, that's gonna be very annoying. If it's always going to counterattack backwards, that would be helpful though. Because it means I know which characters I should definitely not attack with. Ah oh, yeah. I think if I think it attacks back whichever one is behind it, if you see what I mean. So for now, they're not behind it, might be a good idea to use Q on her though. Alright, now he's behind, unfortunately. spider web on that thing. Slow it down a bit. Okay, I think it may have damaged it quite a lot. Alright, at least is that. Well, it appears that you don't level up if you're currently dead, or at least unconscious. So... Uh, Tiff has apparently come back to life again, although I'm betting if I had to attack an enemy, so it would just flop back down to the ground. Sorry about that noise. Besides which, you're on the wrong side. Um... The uh, Barrett said we're supposed to go in the direction that he now can't go in. I don't know if I made the right mistake, though I did the right thing there or not. <laughs> oh man. Maybe Cloud is dead. In this case, I still haven't saved. Rather surprisingly, yes. Um, I suppose he fell on plants. So, that broke his, what looks like, 100 foot fall. Yeah, um... <laughs> Falling straight onto my back on the roof always breaks a hundred foot fall.
again, just because Cloud's a jerk doesn't mean I don't, doesn't mean I have to be. I don't see why that shouldn't be a name. Yeah, these are magical flowers. You fall on these and they break your fall no matter how far you've been falling. Don't know why they're all struggling like that. Sorry, the audio is probably gone out of sync by this point. Just a sec. That might have fixed it. This is just the time when I need a random encounter. Different creatures have different strengths and weaknesses. I would say since I did 254 that this thing might have a weakness to ice. But I'm not certain. Um, if there's a way to tell, I've forgotten what it is. <laughs> the 
This is where it's sort of 3D, but sort of not 3D. Um, gets kind of awkward. I don't know, it seems like she'd be pretty good at taking them out herself, actually. This might be a long episode, I don't know. Are you sure you actually need my help? It's very hard to tell where they are. Aha, uh -huh, right. No. Um, no, the one I'm going to want to knock over is this one. Unless it just does that. Uh, well, I was trying to go that in the right place to hit you. Honestly, it would have made more sense if they'd all come at you at once, instead of one at a time. Also, he appears to have turned into two dogs. Going over, I'm going on the wrong beam here. Yeah, I have really screwed this up. So Turkey exists in... Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay.
Oh, wait, no, no, that wasn't. I guess we went on the rooftop to try to stay away from the guard. Well, this has probably been going on for quite a while, and I'm afraid that is going to have to be it for this episode. I will see you next time.